Today is a special day. It is a new year. Isn't that incredible? It's 2022. Can you believe that? That is unbelievable. But before we start off with this episode, let me thank you for all the support in 2021. It has been an amazing year and an incredible journey with all of you on YouTube. I'm so excited for 2022. There will be so much fun upcoming for us. I'm really, really looking forward to it. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you again for all the support. Now let's get rolling with this episode. Last time we saw that we got serious energy issues and we need to resolve those. And I want to do this with a diesel generator. And for that, we need to produce biodiesel. And for that, we need to produce like ethanol and plant oil. And for that, we need lots of plants. I think it's potatoes and weeds for us. So let's jump right into it and first start with a field where we can put down all the potatoes and wheat. And to maximize our yield, I want to look into fertilizers. We have here green fertilizer that increases crop output and red fertilizer that speeds up growth. So let's make both of those. We need dye for that, green and red dye, and the other stuff we should have plenty of. The dye we get was pestle and mortar and the mystical green petals. That's the green one. And that's the red one. So now let's make the green fertilizer and the red fertilizer too. Now I have already prepared a field up here. So let's make this farmland. I think we have to first make farmland and then put down the fertilizer. Okay, now let's test this. Let's test the green fertilizer on that. And can I put the red one too? No, I can't only put the, the one or the other. Okay, so then let's make half the field the green one and half the field the red one. And now let's plant the seeds, right? So the speed fertilizer is extremely fast. As you can see on that side, everything's growing already. And on that side, not yet, only a bit. This really does make a difference. Really nice. So let's see how that yield fertilizer does. So next thing we need is the harvester and I want to use the system with the encased fan that we had at our first farming area. Look at this. Our little farm is running and I've put down the portable storage interface over there. And I want to use a special ender chest for that so that we kind of teleport the crops to the machines that we use to refine those. We use the ender chest that can be coded and for that we need ender pouches so two ender pouches and now we need two of the ender chests one and two so now if we place down one of the ender chests here and then put up a chute on that then we should be able to grab the stuff from here Yes, we are. That is not very big, but this is okay. It's just for transportation. We will pull out the stuff from here right away into where we need this. So that way stuff is kind of teleporting to where we need this. In order to process the potatoes and the wheat seeds, we need a squeezer. That is this one. And we need a fermenter. That is this machine here with a lot of materials that we need for those. And I hope to be able to squeeze both of those in one room. So let me prepare everything and then we can build things together. So I have now all the material in here and now now I need to prepare the new cave for that and I use for that the wand of symmetry. I've placed down the mirror over there. This thing shall be 11 blocks wide and I have put that in the middle on block 6. And now if I now hammer through this here, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then we should be done with that. So that is just mirroring what I'm doing. So I only have to do half the way through all of this. Let me show you that now if I do it with this here. One, two, three on that side. And as you can see, it made it on the other side too. So that is really, really helpful. Yeah, let me finish that up and I see you in a second. I have whipped up the room 
not completed yet because I'm not quite sure whether it is big enough. Let's try to fit in both of these machines. Let's do the squeezer. Let's see if I can pull that off. Now the fences on these sides. Good. And then we should be able to right click that here. Wonderful. That is the squeezer. We have, I think, an input here and an output there and an output there. Okay. It's inputting from behind. Okay. Let's try to add the fermenter. Oh, and this time we use the projector. Like fermenter. Can I have it here? Here. Okay. And these two go in here. Perfect. That's the cauldrons here. And now we hit this. And it has a lot of red lines. But I think it's working. I think that's just the glitch. Maybe if I reload the thing. Uh, well, I reloaded it and it didn't go away. So there must be some other reason why all the red lines are there. I will sort it out. And I think I have to reorganize the room because that is not how I would like it. I will play around with how that can fit in this room and then I will be back with you soon. I got the squeezer to work. I've added three water wheels back there to have power for it. And I added the, and the chest up there to supply it with the seats. And it is working. As you can see, it is producing plant oil, but we have serious issues with energy. Currently, I use these low voltage wires and relays and connectors. And maybe this is an issue that I need to use the medium or high voltage wires. So that is what I'm trying next. And otherwise, I don't have any clue on how to do that. I'm pretty new with immersive engineering, so maybe I'm lacking just knowledge here. Okay, I've added the high voltage wires and relays and stuff but it's not helping i'll just go on with that and try to produce ethanol with the fermenter so that we can produce biodiesel and hopefully once we have the diesel generator then our energy issues will be solved since we are producing slowly but surely plant oil and ethanol let's start with our refinery in this next room and build this up okay there we go let's see if that works yes it does wonderful and it has again these red lines but i think they will go away once i add a connector oh there it is uh no not yet let me get some water wheels back here to connect this to energy and then let's see if that is working so I was able to get the thing behind me to work and I've connected it with fluid pipes to our fermenter and squeezer. You see plant oil and ethanol and it already produces biodiesel and it is full. So that's why energy is full too. So I don't have any idea about how much energy it uses up. I switched to thermoelectric generators as you can see there behind there there's lava and water and these pipes here on the sides are connected to this fluid pipe here and this fluid pipe here so this is automatically going into here so now i've dug out this next cave here and as well i've connected up the other side because i think that is the outskirt of my city we won't get any further in that direction here i don't have any idea how this will look like once i have built this up but this is how i imagine it should work and now i have set up the diesel generator schematic here so that is what i want to do next and see how that is working out so there we go let's see look at this this is why we have the red lines it's because i have the project is still in my inventory. If it put out of my hotbar, then the red lines are gone. So I'm just stupid. <laughs> so, well, that's how it is. So now the thing is working and it does not have any interface, it seems like. I have attached now the metal barrel, which was filled with biodiesel. And I've put in the connector here. Looks like as if we have already some energy. 
And I've seen if we go into quests, we get for the diesel generator the half hour capacitor. So let's get this and connect this up here for the moment just to see whether this is working. Energy input. Now it is. Oh my goodness, that is loud, but it seems to work. Oh my goodness. And this is only from the barrel, but the barrel is empty now. Let's remove the barrel and connect this with the pipes. Oh my goodness, it's loud. Mute this one. Oh my goodness, that is horrible. But I think it has stopped. Let's see. Yeah, it has stopped. So <laughs> that means it has sucked up everything from here. No, there's spy diesel. Why is it not working? Oh, it's because the capacitor is full. <gasps> Oh my goodness, that is enormous. Now we have to look into how we can distribute the energy from this battery <laughs> to all the things we have over there. And especially to our charging station up there so that we can charge our jetpack finally. For transferring energy, I want to look into flux. We need a flux plug and we need a flux point for that. And I think we got some of this from a quest so let's look into that we have yes we have a flux point already okay i've looked through all of this we don't get the plug so we need to create the plug let me whip this up and try that so i have now a flux plug and a flux point so now i attach this to this one here and then I can right click this and create a network. Diggle's net and have that like purple. We make it private, I think. There's nobody else here, so that should be not a problem. So now select the network. We select this one. So now we should be able to put this to where we need the energy. Okay, we put this in there. It still sucks up everything. Let's look at the diesel generator, whether this is now working again. Oh, it says no connection. Maybe that's the reason why. Energy output. Oh my goodness, now. So now I've muted the thing, but we can see that it is working. Let's see how we do on fuel here. Oh, this looks good. We can't keep up with that at the moment, at least. This is full. Okay, it will take a while, I think. But at least... It does not lose on energy here. Okay, so we now can have more of these flux points and connect these to the flux network and use them wherever we need energy. And then we need to see how much of the biodiesel we can produce and at what point we will run out of fuel. But for the moment, this is really awesome i have now inserted a flux point here for the fermenter and the squeezer and put that behind this hv capacitor so this now has enough energy but what now happens is we do run out of potatoes and seeds my next idea is now to try garden collage and for that we need the engineer's workbench and then build all of these. I don't know how many of these we might need and whether this is faster or better than what we could do with our field up there, but at least I want to try because I think it's really interesting. Let me whip up the engineer's workbench. This is pretty easy and then I whip up some garden cloth and I will build this up where the farm is. 48 garden cloths filled with hemp and potatoes did the trick. We finally produce enough biodiesel to run our diesel generator. But as you can see, this is not the only thing that changed. I'm wearing now slime boots. And this is because, as we now have energy, I can fill up our jetpack quite more often. And I do use it now quite more often. But I have the issue that I do land very hard whenever I land with the jetpack. And I got a lot of damage from that. So I decided to craft the slime beads that help me to get not so much damage whenever I land with the jetpack. Now let's look into this, how this works. These garden claws are all connected to a capacitor with a flux point set up here that is also providing energy to the fluid pump which is providing water to all of the garden claws and these are connected to a simple storage network just to organize the produce from the garden claws. But this simple storage network is as well connected to 
these drawers over here where all the stuff that is growing here gets into and I've moved the portable storage interface from the back wall to the side wall because that now fits quite good into the whole system. The potatoes and the seeds go into different ender chests. The potatoes go into the green one and the seeds go into the white one. That way I have them already sorted before they reach the squeezer and the fermenter. So let's have a look down at the fermenter and the squeezer. So most of this you already know. What I've changed is that I now pipe in with hoppers the potatoes from the green and the chest and on that side the hemp seeds from the white and the chest and this works quite good. Look at this, we are producing a lot of oil and ethanol. And when we go into the next room, I've only prettified that, but you can see this refinery is now producing so much biodiesel that our diesel generator in the last room can't keep up with all of the diesel and is constantly running. And that means we have resolved a very important quest. This quest, diesel power, create a setup that can constantly supply diesel generator with enough fuel. Now, while I'm working on all of this, I finally came up with the design for this corner piece of the Diggle City. I wasn't sure about how that might look like, but I think I found a very good solution for now. And we will surely work on this in future episodes. It has been quite a lot of effort to set up the diesel generator, but it is finally working. Which means that we can now go on with the stuff behind me in the next episode. And that is Botania. So thanks again for all your support in 2021. I'm really looking forward to 2022. And as always, thanks for watching.